Hey guys, Zarok here, and today I'm bringing you guys another video, and this video is again on Pokemon Unite, this was in the same stream as the last video, um, and this is actually my second game as Machamp. Uh, so this was the third game in the stream, and yeah, my second game as Machamp, Cinderella's got taken, and as you'll see, it was another very, very, very good game. Not as clean as the first one, uh, if you haven't checked that one out, definitely go and do so, there'll be a... Um, thing at the top if I remember to do that because uh, I'm really bad at remembering stuff like that but yeah but this is our second game as uh, Machop, uh, Machoke and Machamp so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a commentary like going over what my thoughts and processes were and stuff like that um, and see whether that type of style of commentary is actually any good I've seen a couple of YouTubers do it and some of the YouTubers that I've been watching a lot um, so I wanted to see whether it was the type of thing I could do. So right here we're just farming up, um, pretty standard clear path, uh, the Bulbasaur was pretty much on it as well so we're all pretty good here and pretty much instantly, almost like the first uh, game with matchup, we just kind of get a free kill. Um, I don't really know what was going on there, like what the Fletchling was trying to do. But not only do we get that, we also get this free goal because Machop just kind of chills. And I feel really bad for this Machop here because his Fletchling just completely screwed him over. And then the Fletchling tries to save him and <laughs> it's just the easiest double kill of my life. Um, I think this is the only one slight issue with Pokemon Unite is obviously there's a lot of people that have never played a MOBA style game. So... You have a lot of pe things like that where people don't understand the way like levels work and power spikes and stuff like that. So this game's already done. Like just from that little bit, these guys aren't gonna get in anytime soon. And I'm not having any remorse on them. I'm going in and I'm slapping them up, and then I'm gonna grab this second berry here and just get the quickest dunk of my life. And then straight up to try and help this haunter here. I'm um, going on the zero or I'm going to flip him and he dashes so I have to use my jet button to save the Haunter. Uh, luckily got that. Uh, so yeah, we we're in a really good stead here. I think that's what, five kills? Something like that. I think I've got four of them. Bulbasaur got one. Um, so we're, we're pretty steady. We're already level seven. I think our counterparts are like level four. So top is getting a bit destroyed. The, 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 I didn't realize, now, but now I'm watching it, that a chop and... Um, Talon Flame just kind of dipped and went up top. Um, they really were done with our shit. So this is probably the biggest mistake I'm making this entire game. I try and come in for this gank here and I don't really know why. I think I was under uh, overestimating my ability, um, like my power. Um, but I mean, we, we clear it up, I think. I remember really, yeah, we get two here. So yeah, Cinderace gets two. I think Cinderace gets a third here, yeah. So, I mean, we just fed up the Cinderace, but that was probably not the biggest mistake that I make in this uh, gameplay, as you'll see. Um, but definitely, probably one of the biggest. And that was actually my first death as uh, Machamp, so, well, Machoke in this sense, uh, which was a little embarrassing. So, got the little farm there, trying to get up to the uh, Ivysaur to help with the Zeraora. And I'm coming down here just in case he's got, like, gone down to farm or something. And it actually worked quite nicely in my favour because it meant that he didn't see me so I could get the nice submission and get the uh, eject button flash, um, kill, dunk. And then this talent flame kind of just walks into us again. I don't really know what he's doing. Um, I don't really know what talent flame did. So otherwise I would have avoided that little uh, damage when he comes back down after being invincible. But didn't really matter. Uh, so we're going to go to Dreadnought here. And you'll notice that my health is not great. And, um... <laughs> oh, God. I single-handedly was about to not upload this because of what happens here. This is by far probably one of the most embarrassing things I've had in this entire game. And I've played like 80 games at this point. <laughs> I died to the Dreadnought. Not only did I die to the Dreadnought, it meant the Ivysaur died because the Ivysaur went up to Zerora. 
you could say that's both our faults. Don't know why Oversaw didn't come down to me, but also why the hell am I doing Dreadnought? Um, but then also the Zeraora then gets a score. Uh, I think Zeraora even gets out here. Um, I can't remember. Or maybe I just submission him. Uh, looks like, yeah, I just submission him. So, he get... Do we kill him? Yeah, so we kill him. Uh, I got really lucky with the level up there, otherwise that Pikachu would have killed me. And then Pikachu ults, so it's just like, no. I even saw didn't get that memo. And here I'm just like trying to run for my life. And honestly, this here was the most button mashing shit I've ever done in my life. I did not know what I was doing. Um, I panicked really badly because I saw the Electro Ball. And I was just in my head thinking, I don't survive that Electro Ball. So I wanted to try and turn around and do some damage. And somehow killed them? I don't really know how. Um, then the Pikachu kind of just walks into five of us. We've, we've all for some reason gone top. I'm not really too sure why we all went top. But we did. But we get like one goal post. This one's already down to 17. Um, so you can see we are cruising in this sense. I mean, we're all farming up. The Pikachu once again decides to come in for no reason and get killed. I believe that's the second goal post done. Meanwhile, Garth Chomp is for some reason at our tier 2. Uh, Zero decided he wanted to try and flank an all and missed. So I'm going back for the Garchomp here, but then I decide, now nah, actually, I'm going to go to bot, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be someone bot. And there was. And then this, again, honestly, this is kind of embarrassing. I think this is how you can tell that i am never played this character before. Because I should be winning this hard. You know, I've got the level advantage, I'm on my goalpost. Like, I should be 100% winning this hard, and I barely win it. <laughs> You know, that, that was actually really, really close. Um, I think a lot of that is just that I didn't maximize my ability usage. Um, Matchamp's abilities are a little hard to hit, the close combat and the ult, um, because of the way it jitters your screen. So it's a bit of a double-edged sword here. And then again, Talonflame, I mean, I suppose he was trying to go for the Cinderace there, but it was really, really weird. Zeraora decided he wanted to go for the back door, which makes sense, he had 30 points. Um, so can't really blame him for that. So then he gets cleared up. Honestly, I don't know why he didn't go up towards the jungle. He probably could have gone up towards um, the buffs and just base there. Here, the Talon Flame again. I mean, he's going for me. Luckily, I hit the ult and I hit every single punch of the ult, which again is actually quite difficult to do when you're not used to it. Like, I guarantee that's going to be one of the skill. Uh, where you can tell, you know, who's a good match amp and who's not. So, honestly, uh, you know, I'm surprised I got away with that. And then I somehow got out and didn't die to the Zeraora. He wanted me. You can see it was very, very close, but we got out. And we've got 50 seconds to Zapdos here. We actually see the Zeraora again. He, you know, he's chased me all this way. And he actually kills me. Uh, because Zeraora is one of the most stupidest Pokemon in the game. <laughs> um... In all honesty, I shouldn't have been fighting there, but yeah, I think maybe I should use my submission differently as well. Um, I've not but you like really practiced that matchup, and I'm not very good against Zeraora anyway, um, even in, with my Cinderace. He's probably my hardest counter, so it's unfortunate there. So you can see our team's you know, motioning around Zapdos, so I don't think we're quite getting it, but I think now we are. Uh, I think Cinderace is now getting it, so I'm coming up to help. And yeah, you can see it's already like mostly done because Cinderace is quite fed. Late game Cinderace is disgusting, and that's why I love playing it. So this game now is it, pretty much just don't choke. Um, I don't really know what this Machoke was doing, what this Machamp was doing. He kind of just <laughs> was just running around. Um, and then yeah, we, we're all just getting points here. Uh, Pikachu all bloody hurts, but we're so far ahead that honestly, <laughs> it didn't matter what happened here. Um, you can see we're, we're just spawn killing them at this point. So yeah, overall that's pretty much how this game went. You know, we're just continually spawn killing them. I don't 
think I died again, I can't remember. Um, so yeah, definitely not as clean as the first um, champ game, but also pretty damn clean as well. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it, so I'll show the scoreboard obviously when this game ends. I can't remember quite how much damage I got. I think I was either top damage or second top damage in this game, um, but I can't quite remember. And yeah, so this has been the next video of Pokemon Unite. So I've got plenty more to go, both from this stream and also from another stream. So make sure to go over to twitch.tv slash Zorark with two R's, two K's. Exactly how it is in my YouTube channel name. And you can also find that link in the description. Uh, we're playing this game quite a lot. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will speak to you in my next one. Peace out, everyone.